Are y'all ready to get this show started? Three, two, one. Let's get it. Here we go. You're not tuned into the city flow on Hidden City Radio. We know some good, good, make them, make them say. We get girl top notch butterscotch. Soul Star, the producer. up y'all what's all what's up y'all you're now tuned in to city flow here at hidden city radio i'm your girl top notch butterscotch did you miss me <laughs> oh man oh man oh man man it feels so good to be back on the air i missed y'all you know what i'm saying like being busy with regular everyday life you know sometimes you just don't have time to do what you want to do with your dream and your passion but the passion is always still here to get it done that's the good part about it (laughs) y'all man it's been a wild couple of months but i am great to be back and honestly yo i'm back for the whole month of july because of 90s tv yo like shout out to 90s tv yo (laughs) Yo, we got to shout them out. They booked up my whole July. Yo, I didn't even know if I was going to be coming back this year because I'm trying to, like, revamp some things. I know every time I get on this mic, you y'all hear me say, yo, she always trying to revamp. She always trying to revamp. Yeah, man, because, like, being an entrepreneur, you always try to, you know, make sure you do what you do to keep your viewers and your listeners entertained. So with that being said, make sure y'all following us on Instagram, YouTube, um, Facebook, you know, go to the website, you know, check us out. And if you're a podcaster or you're a radio DJ, yo, check out our airtime schedule and see if we can, you know, fit your needs to promote what you want to do. And yo, I'm going to be honest with you. If I like what I hear, yo, I like the barter of business. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? It's all about networking in this industry, y'all. So, Let's do what we got to do to help one another out to get to where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to be a gatekeeper in this industry, y'all. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. So with that being said, let's talk about um, what we got going on at Hidden City Radio. Let's do some housekeeping real quick. Y'all make sure y'all check us out on Mondays. We got Mondays and Fridays. We got the 290 Mo podcast. Um on Tuesday nights, Tuesday through Thursday, we got uh, the DJ Pie Piper um, with the Love After Dark. On Wednesdays, 1.45 p.m., we got the Audacity of Ash. Y'all make sure y'all check out her podcast. It's super hot. She do great interviews. Like, yo, we, we kind of getting it up on, on up and up on, over here at Hitter City Radio. And then on Thursdays, noon, we got the uh, Groove Master. Got him on Fridays as well. Uh, we got DJ Rip on Thursdays. We got Layla E on Fridays. Uh, we got Gospel Vibrations on Sundays. We got the Sugar Sugar uh, Sugar Show on, on Sundays, and we also got Melvin C Jordan Saturday nights for the Heavy Storm Quiet Storm. Yo, we we got a nice schedule over here at Hidden City Radio. So if y'all are not tuned in to Hidden City Radio, make sure y'all download the Live Three Sixty Five app. Look for Hidden City Radio. And just tune in. Other than that, we got the Hidden City Radio playlist that's always playing 24-7. If you got a song that you would like to be added to the station, make sure y'all hit us up, HiddenCityRadio at gmail.com. And with that being said, if you're a business owner and you want to interview on the show, make sure you hit me up at HiddenCityRadio at gmail.com. Let me know a little bit about yourself, uh, your business, and we'll get you on the show. That's as easy as that. If you're an artist... Make sure to submit your music in MP3 format, proper MP3 format with proper metadata because we are a registered station with ASCAP, BMI, and SCE. And as we always say, we want to make sure y'all get paid those royalties. So moving right along, moving forward, I know y'all are wondering who's going to be on the show tonight. Yes, sir, yo. We got a great show lined up for y'all tonight, as always. We're going to be talking to Mr. YF T-shirt, yo. He got this one song. This is my song. Because, like, I feel like it's my daily 
my daily soundtrack to my life because yo like relax honey relax so we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about what he got coming up with his music what what he got planned for himself and his future so we ain't gonna hold y'all up much longer we're gonna bring my man yf t-shirt to the stage y'all ready here we go sure. Yes, YF, yes, you there? You there? You there? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. YF, you with me? You with me? You with me? Can you hear me? We can't can you hear, hear you. We can't hear you. Oh, check, check your audio. Hold on, y'all. He gonna get it right for us. Hit the little gear button. Make sure your audio is on your Bluetooth it now. pods. I see you using the little speakers in your ears. <laughs> can you hear me now? Let's see. We got all signal on our end, waiting for Mr. YF T-shirt. You, Y'all see him you, on the screen. Can you hear me now? Y'all, while he gets set up. Oh. Can you hear us on your end? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us on your end. Hey, you. I can hear you. All right, you can hear us on your end. All right, so what you need to do is hit the gear button on your end, underneath the settings. Uh-huh. All right, and me? instead of putting your audio, go to your uh, what's that? Uh, not audio, the microphone setting. Go to the microphone settings. Yeah, your audio, your audio output, audio output and input need to be your ear pods. So set that up, and we could probably hear you better then. Nah, I can't hear you. Oh, Go ahead, talk no. for me. My check, my check, my check. Yeah, we're not getting in. Go ahead and disconnect and come back in and see if that'll work for you. All right, y'all. So while he gets set up, while he gets set up, y'all, if, um, again, if y'all would like to be on the show, Make sure y'all hit us up at hittercityradio at gmail.com. Drop a small bio about yourself, your business, uh, if you're a music artist. Uh, proper MP3 metadata. Let's see what we got right now. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Nah, we still can't hear you. You got the earbuds in. Probably disconnect them earbuds. I try to tell all guests when you come on the show, make sure y'all have all the audio and uh, input set up so we can get the show rolling, y'all. I'm so excited about the show because I really want y'all to hear this song, Relax. Shout out to the Groove Master. We see you on air. We got Mr. YF back in the back again. Let's see what we got. Hopefully y'all can hear me now. It's, it's picking nah, up on my we still can't hear you, bro. What's going oh, on? I don't know. I would say disconnect. A oh, matter of fact, you know what? Why don't you just give a call in on the uh, phone here? 470-588-1198. 470-588-1198. So we can just go ahead and get talk to, talking to you and get the show rolling. 470-588-1198. So how's everybody doing? Y'all drop a line in the chat if y'all tuned in. <laughs> All right, so we got an incoming call on the line. Leo. Let's get it picked up here. Hold on. One moment. Oh, you know what? This ain't nothing but the devil. Hold on, yo. Calling in from Maryland, y'all. Give us one second. We're going to pick up on the other end. Y'all, let, let's, let's, we gonna come right back. Hang tight.
system. Two, four, zero, seven. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Oh, I'm sitting over here just acting like the whole world can hear me. My mic ain't even turned on. So moving forward, so back to what I was saying, y'all. All's well is ends well over here at Hidden City Radio. We got my man YF t-shirt on the phone right now, y'all. We do apologize for the technical difficulties, but we're going to get this show started. I myself already know a little bit, but uh, a little bit of bit. <laughs> A little bit about <laughs> YF T-shirt, but if you don't mind, sir, introduce yourself to our listeners and viewers. <laughs> I sure can. So glad you can make it. It's your boy YF T-shirt, and the YF does stand for your favorite. Um, I am a 24-year-old artist based out of the DMV, PG County specifically, um, and I just I love I love music, man. I, just, I love music. Nice shout out to Prince George. <laughs> Yeah, from the DMV myself. Shout out to Virginia Beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we in the building. All right, so you know we got to ask the cliche questions before we get into the nitty gritty. So let's get it started. Course. You ready for this interview? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Oh, all right. So here we go. So like, what got you in? to wanting to be a music artist? Um, so I've actually been doing music my whole life. Um, I started officially playing music. Um, I believe I was in the first grade. I was playing the drums. My mom got me set up with a real drum set. Um, in the third grade, I switched to the clarinet. Um, but it just, it wasn't, I love music, but the way that I was playing it, it just wasn't, I felt like something was missing. Fast forward all the way to freshman year of college, uh, my, my my man, Jordan Rieto, he was like, I want you to do something with my laptop. I want you to, like, I just want to see what you can do. He opens up GarageBand. Yeah. He hands me a mighty keyboard. About five minutes later, I have a, 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 it's a sloppy beat, but it's my first beat nonetheless. Nice. Um, and I loved the process. I loved every, I loved being stuck. I loved having to think. I just, I loved all of it. And next thing I know, I'm freestyling to it, like, I'm just having fun with it. It was so much fun. And I took that a step further. Um, I produced a little bit of, I produced a little bit of music um, and I started writing songs. And then my first single relax actually sounded a lot different than how it sounds now. Yeah. Um, I recorded that back freshman year. And then two years later, you know, dropped my first single relax. And it's been, it's been full speed ahead ever since. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now let's rewind a little bit. So you you mentioned that you was in the band and you mentioned you played the clarinet. I myself also play the clarinet and not a lot of men like to admit that they play, uh, I think it's a wind in instrument, isn't it? Wood wind instrument. Yes, there sir. you go. There you go. So how was that and how long did you play the clarinet? Um, I played the clarinet until I want to say 2018 so third grade to about 11 I think it was 11th grade it nice. might have been a little bit less than that um and then after that um I played a little bit of I played a little bit of tennis sax um I played a little bit of bass clarinet uh and I played a little bit of keyboard I was I was I was multifaceted okay um, Mm -hmm. nice okay that's what's up so with that being said you said you pretty much been playing music all your life you look rather young if i might say so myself if you don't mind me asking I, tell the world how old you are i'm 24 years old okay I'm you know what they say they black don't crack because i thought you was in it your sure teens <laughs> not at all I'm, i've looked like this since i was 14 apparently and i'm we just gonna rock with this 
I know that's right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> okay. So uh, how would you describe the music that you typically create? Because I mean, like I heard Relax and I was just like, yo, I could, I could get down with his flow. And me as a person that's in the music industry, I am not, honestly, I am not easily impressed. So it's just like to uh -huh. hear something that I can vibe to and really like, understand what they saying and, and really like, yo, I could really like use this in my everyday vocabulary soundtrack of my life. Cause that's why I created Hit a city radio is because every song I put on here, I feel like I could relate to. So how would you right. describe the music that you typically create? That's an interesting question because I was told that I make very, uh, I was told that I say very wild things in a calm tone. Somebody nice. described that that's my current sound. However, my current the current project that I'm working on, um, it's called Young Hopeless Romantic. Um, and it basically it is uh very sad but very um what's the word I'm looking for? Very sad, but I wanna say not so much sexual, but it's like it's a lot of you're getting a lot of, of of explicit topics thrown at you at once. Okay. Um, so I would say I'm a very calm yet explicit individual. If I had to give you a final answer. Nice, nice. Okay, nice. I like that. So when you go through your creative process as a music artist, like what is that like? Um, do you are you like a Jay Z? You just get in the booth, one hit a quitter, or you know you're saying you always carry a note, like you know regular industry, carry a notebook around, old school, write something down, come back to it. But like, how do you vibe with that? How, what's your creative process like? Um, so normally what I have, what I have to do is I'll have to hear a song, the beat itself about three times. And then I'll take it, like I, I'll walk everywhere that I go. Um, nice. So if I got to go to the grocery store, I'll walk. And while I'm walking, I'm writing. So okay. I'm thinking, I'm brainstorming because I can't I can't sit still and create at the same time. So I'll wh whatever errands I gotta run, whatever I gotta do, I'm walking while I do it. Um, and then when it's finally time to get in the studio, um, I'll record it, no mix, no master. I'll send it to myself, and then I'll listen to it about four or five times. You know, as it's been recorded the first time, and then I'll go back make whatever changes that need to be made um and things of that nature i'm i'm very i'm very methodical when it comes to uh creating music because i'm a perfectionist at the end of the day and i want to make sure that i dot every i i cross every t nice and and, and i it, it has to be it has to be perfect or it's I, i'm gonna be i'm gonna be upset and i'm gonna scrap the whole project and start from the beginning oh you a perfectionist on that type level yeah, I've scrapped the I've scrapped the good I've scrapped the good six songs just because I didn't like the direction that I was going with. It. So, so when you say those type of when you say scrap these songs, like you completely delete it, like you don't just like oh let me put this in the suitcase and maybe come back to it later. Like you just say yeah nah this ain't gonna work. The math ain't math. There are some there are some songs that I that were too good to let go okay but for the most part i'll like if i'm writing a verse and i get stuck and i don't like the direction that it's going i scrap the whole i scrap the whole thing and and, and start over because in the moment when i'm writing i'm a i am I write about very authentic if it, if it didn't happen to me it happened to someone around me got you got so you. i don't want to i don't want to write uh uh i don't want to write like words for one song that's built for one situation and keep that one situation in the song and then talk about something completely different without having an organic segue. Gotcha. So if it don't feel organic, yeah. then it's getting scrapped. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love that. I love that. So with that being said, while you were talking about, you know, scrapping, you know, if something doesn't match, I, I honestly had a flashback of the movie five heartbeats when it was just like, you got to put this piece together with this piece together and you make one whole right. song. That's what I was thinking about. So with that right. being said, has that ever happened to you in that instance where you're just like, you um, know it what? so I've accidentally, I've accidentally written, um, 
I've accidentally written a hit and I've, I've taken pieces of the songs that I haven't scrapped or pieces of material that like I started and just like I left it there okay. and I picked up on it. And, you know, I kind of just finished. I kind of fleshed it out and it sounded real good. And then I put it on top of a beat and it sounded immaculate. And I was like, you know, I, 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 I changed some words around, you know, I changed the cadence of how I wanted, how, how I wanted to talk. I, I, I sang it instead of just talking it. And it's, it's, it's been a hit. Um, it's not released yet, obviously, but I, I, I believe that, you know, uh, what's that called? Like putting the, the puzzle pieces together for example, for a song can happen. I just don't do it often. Okay. Okay. It's nothing wrong with that, but it's part of the creative process and that's all that matters. So uh, well, let's go to the chat real quick. We got Knits by Ice. Knits by Ice says baby face. Oh, when we was talking about how young you look and the unha <laughs> unhealthy cat lady, she said woodwind gang. Shout out to the woodwind gang. Yo, um, it's been a great gang. show so far. So before we go on to the next segment, which is playing one of your songs or a video that you may have on YouTube. Because we already got the song. I'm just be honest with you. My favorite song of your collection so far is Relax. I love it. I really love that song. I really relate to that song. So with that being said, um, before we get into that segment, are you using two phones or are you using one phone right now? I'm using one phone right now. Oh, okay, because I was getting ready to say maybe if you turn on your camera, we can still see your face, and then you could just use the phone for the audio, so you know the people could get a visual as to who we are talking to. Um, so let me see if I can make. Go ahead. Let me oh, see if I can make something work. Okay, there we go. We got you. We got you, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you have T-shirt on the screen, y'all. <laughs> There we go. We don't always find a way to make it work here at Hidden City Radio. We are the only station with no reservation. Y'all see that baby face we was talking about? He, he's a whole 24 out here in these streets looking like he's a teen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that being said, we are going to bring up one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Relax. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring that up. And uh, before we bring that up, we know that you are a part of the 90s TV group. Is that a Correct. group? Is that a media? Like, tell us That's more about group. 90s TV. 90s television is 90s television is a group of creatives um, just come together trying to uh, uh, it's not just artists. Um, Actually, Knits by Ice uh, is a part of 90s as well. Um, and she knits and she crochets. It's just a bunch of creatives coming together, being creative. We just a bunch of 20, 20 somethings being 20 something together, you know. know um, some right. of us make music, some of us, uh, some of us uh, stream uh, video games, some of us um, make clothing, some of us draw. It's, we all just coming together, bettering one another, supporting one another. Um, and you know it's it's all it's cool to have a support support system, but nobody has supported the '90s like the '90s. They, and 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 that's that in a nutshell. I could I could go on for hours about '90s TV, but the 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 general consensus is we just a bunch of twenty something being twenty something together. Yo, that's dope. Yo, that's I like it. I like it a lot. And Knits by Ice, I see you over there in the chat, not you shouting me out, sir. Yeah, he's shouting you out. Yeah, nah, he is here for, he, what would they say, the team? He a team, yo. So with that being said, Knits by Ice, I don't think we got you on the schedule either for, uh, for an interview, so we're going to make that happen right after the show. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to take the spotlight yeah, from a boy, sure. YFTV. Oh, I said YFTV, YF T-shirt. <laughs> We ain't trying it's to all take good. It. It's all good. That's what it is. That's what it is. So, yo, we getting ready to play this single right here. Relax. This is one of my favorites. Y'all, this is dope right here. Y'all, go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me one second. Let me unmute it. It's your favorite. So glad you can make it. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm gonna be humble for let's, now. Let's take that. It's 
favorite. So glad you can make it. Yes, sir. I told that hoe down, Relax. all these new niggas and clowns Relax. I'ma be home for now, Relax. she jump with Joe when I'm around Relax. She hit the penis, she couldn't, Relax. I'm off a penis, still couldn't Relax. Drink wasn't clean, so I coulda, Relax. cracked those spleen, she would Give yourself relax, a seat relax, and relax. relax. Uh, yeah, I told that bitch to relax. Yeah, I told that bitch to relax. Yeah, I told that bitch yes, to relax. Sir. Uh, I told that bitch to relax. T-shirt doesn't mic. That's I'm getting. If I find your life and go on to heaven. Then I'm on your head, I splat in your melon Taking them shots and that's word to Carmelo Stayed out all night, had to summon Rietto. Got an AR and it sing a falsetto. Suppressed it. Shh, it sing a cup of hello. Plus that she probably. Say poppy, you poppin' or whatever. I'm building in Tella, hopped up on my dogs. I feel like a real pull up in the picked up the hop, up kicked down your doors with a cola mine. Fuck the rules though, cause we don't play soccer. Talking my shit when I spit, you know I'm never finished. Put me on the record and I ain't talking Guinness. All about the Benjamins, mind of my put up and fucked on your mom for the fitness. My foot sharp, so it cut like sword. Pretty she can flow, make you pray to the Lord. I call up more, you get put in the morgue. I call my sugar mine just to Story. You got caught lacking, tried to report. Anonymous statement, let me retort. You not my boy, you snitch to the port. They get mad when I'm bringing that beef to your porch. I shouldn't brag, I'm amazing, astonishing. Nigga with vigor, I swear I'm demonic. How do I know I'm your baby? I hope you realize that YFS stands for your favor. I told that hoe to sit down. All these new niggas and clowns. I'ma be humble for now. She jumped for Joe when I'm around. She took the penis, she couldn't. I'm off a bean and still couldn't. Drink wasn't clean, so I coulda. Cracked those spleen, she wouldn't. I Relax, Thank relax, you relax, need relax, to relax, have yourself relax, a seat relax, and relax. relax uh, yeah, I told that bitch to relax. Yeah, I told that bitch to relax. Yeah, I told that bitch to relax. Uh, I told that bitch to relax. Killer pussy is harder. People love bull like Dwayne but not Carter. Life is like my dick, it only get harder. She wanna square up, cause I stole the charge. Eat it up, eat it up, now she a star. She bent it over and I couldn't fault it. Eat it up, beat it up, now I'm a father. Uh, I don't like none of you niggas. Might as well just call me Doja. These niggas sleep. Go ahead and give them some wordplay and follow it up with some folders. Uh, let me take it back to the old flow. I ain't even tryna kill a nigga, never mind. Let me go slow. Pull up to the party with the black bubble, ripped jeans, and the all gray modes. I only suck on the white toes. Let me reiterate, I don't like Karen's. Joe's. Unless the last name Allegra, then I'm diving and double dipping up yes, in the snow. Sir. I remember being king of the globe. Now all I get is cold and puns and Jones. Dress in stripes, you know I'm out mode. Rewind this track and realize that I'm cold. They call me Dio Brando cause I'm cold. If I call it worse on your desk, I'm bold. Stand with my stand, we dress in my gold. You better call God or he put you on hold. Damn, imagine that. The suppressor's on, so them shots they go tat, tat, tat. I'm dressed in all black in the back with a Mac. I'm the Black Ranger, so catch my attack, bitch. If you're hearing this now, then you woke up in the gulag. Just know that 90s television sent you there. No commercials. <laughs> Thank you and come again. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, that was, that's my jam, yo, that's my jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that song so much, yo. So, man, we got to talk about it. So, the little girl on the cover, is that your daughter? Um, yeah, that's, 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 that's my daughter. That was, that was my daughter at eight months okay 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 but, you know that's the that was the that was the old cover if it's both of us then that was like a month ago i changed i forgot i changed the cover okay nice 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 i love it so what was the inspiration behind that song because like you, re um, you really don't hear of... the, the last time i heard a song like that was just from like uh i want to say kendrick lamar sit down be humble it was like giving me that type vibes you know what i'm saying it's crazy because you're not the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth person to compare me to Kendrick Lamar. And that's my favorite artist. Nice. So I know I'm doing something right. I know I'm doing something right. Um, the inspiration behind Relax is um, there's a lot of people in not just my life, but in everyone's life who 
they love to speak on your life, speak on your situations. Um, they love to to basically talk bad about you, try to scandalize your name, whatever the case may be. And sometimes you just got to speak up and tell that bitch to relax. Um, and that bitch can be anybody. That could be your boss. That could be your coworker. Oh, that could be right. your parent. That could be your family member. Oh, that, right. that bitch is not just one person. It can be any, that bitch in your life could be anybody. So sometimes, <laughs> and this, I didn't make this just for me, but sometimes you got to wake up in the morning and just tell that bitch to relax. Sometimes you got, sometimes you that bitch. And sometimes you got to tell yourself to relax. So that part. I made, I, that that song I made not just for me, but I made that for everybody. That's and and I'm glad that you said that that's an anthem that you can wake up and and play, and that that could be your daily anthem because that's what I'm. That's that was the intent behind it. That I made it for me primarily, but I wanted everybody else to relate to it. That part. Make sure you send that over to me at uh, hiddencityradio@gmail.com gmail.com with proper metadata. We pay royalties over here. We got to get that in the station rotation. Like that is like a daily affirmation. Like relax, shit. You know? <laughs> it's not that For serious. Real. I love it. Have yourself a seat and relax. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now on your YouTube page, I see that you have a, a new single that just came out about a month ago with my man. Moon Man Flow. Y'all, if y'all know about Moon Man Flow, y'all make sure y'all check him out. Kite is one of my favorite songs of his. And then Evolve coming in at number two. So y'all make sure y'all check him out as well. So I see you got a single with Moon Man Flow. Let's talk about it. What's it called? I believe you're speaking about y'all. Okay. I believe you're speaking about y'all. Um, if we talk about y'all, then y'all is y'all is Ghanaian. For Thursday, um, I was born on uh, I was born on an October sixteenth Thursday. I ain't, I ain't gonna give y'all a year, but okay, um, Libra. I was born on I'm a Libra. Shout out I, to Libras. Big big Libra. You feel me? Okay. Um, but I was I was born on a Thursday, um, and y'all is I made y'all coming out of a really dark place. Okay. Um, when I when I had wrote the song. Um, and I can, I, this is not an exaggeration. Two days before me writing the song, I literally almost passed away. And wow. I had realized in that, I had realized in that moment that I wasn't living. Like I was just existing. I was, mm. I was walking around with, with, with hurt and pain and just like on autopilot. Like I, I wasn't doing anything. Like I was, I would go to work, I would come home and I would just sit in my room. And I just so happened to step out to go to the store one day. I was on the way back home, almost perished. And in that moment, I realized I hadn't done anything that I said I was going to do. I told a lot of people a lot of things and I wasn't doing it. Mm. So this song is a manifestation of me coming out of that terrible place. This song was me, uh, a promise to myself that, um, is a promise to myself that, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a get out and I'm a live basically. Um, and it it took a lot to it took a lot for to get me to write that song. I wrote it in an hour, but that was the longest hour that I had ever like because I'm the song is being played back and forth, and I'm just thinking of all of the things that I'm going through, and I have nothing to write down. And something in the back of my head was just telling me just write down what she was going through. And so this song, y'all, is is basically. You know, I'm going through this, I'm going through this, I'm going through this, I'm going through this, I'm going through this. I almost died, but from this point on, I'm not turning back. I'm I'm finna live. Like I'm 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 a live. And 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 that's what y'all is, the manifestation of me not only being alive as a noun, but me living as a verb. Nice, nice. And that was recent because that was just uploaded about three three months ago. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. Wow. Now, speaking of uh, collaborations, because you just recently collaborated with Moon Man Flow, um, who would you most like to collaborate with? Either it be someone in the industry that's mainstream or if it be someone that's, you know, currently underground that people are sleeping on. Or if it's just um, strictly 90s TV people like let's let us know who you would like the most collaborate with. 
Um, I'm always going to collaborate with the 90s. That's that's not even a dream. That's a reality nice. collaboration for me. Um, but two people come to mind immediately. Um, and it's a tie between um, Snow Allegra and okay. um, Rico Nasty. Okay. Um, the reason the reason why I would like to to collab with Snow Allegra is vocally she brings her vocals are very unique. They're not she don't have to do a whole lot of riffs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To get, it's like she's talking get, to, to you get, melodically. That's all she's doing. Nice. Right. Right. And and it's it, every song that I've heard from her, her melodic talking just it goes so well with the beat that she's on. And I just know that if me and her were to work together, we would make magic. It would it would be magical. Um the reason why I want to work with Rico Nasty is especially when it comes to live performances, she just she can get the most un energetic person in the crowd moving like okay she's yelling and she's talking her talk and you know what i'm saying no matter the lyrics no matter what's going on she always brings that energy and that's a dream for me to be able to i was put on this earth to make people laugh to make people smile nice. to make people better and if i can also do that in a performance setting with one of my favorite artists that would be that's a dream come true and it will be done in true Libra fashion. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would. Big Libra fashion. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, so um, where have you performed? And if you haven't performed anywhere, where would you like to perform? And if you performed anywhere, what's your most favorite venue? Um, so I've performed at the Pocket in D.C., um, I performed at the Crown in Baltimore. Um, I performed. I forget what it's. I forget what it's called. Um, but it's in Chicago. Shout out Tyg and Cam Stacy for that beautiful venue. Nice. Um, and I'm performing the 25th at Songbird. That's also in DC. Okay. Um, a dream of mine would be to perform. It doesn't matter. The location but to be able to perform at a rolling loud festival that's a dream of mine to be nice. a rolling loud uh, and so now i gotta do the work to make that happen because i said it out loud so now i gotta do it i know that's right yeah i like it i like it i like it all right so um we know that your favorite uh artist is kendrick lamar are there any other artists out there that you would consider like your favorite artists that you, you know, get inspired from or by? Um, I I recently started listening to a lot of Tyler the Creator. Okay. Um, people have been people have been throwing. They've been uh saying that I should probably listen to him yeah. because I sound a little bit like him in the newer stuff that I'm coming out with. Okay. Um. I listen to, I said Kendrick already. Uh, I normally know that. I listen to a lot of Rico Nasty. I listen to a lot of Snow Allegra. Um, and oddly enough, I like musicals. So I listen okay. to a lot of, of, of Disney. I listen to a lot. I listen to Hamilton, okay. the entire two hour soundtrack every wow. now and again. Um, yeah, I, 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 I love music. Um, nice. And any way that I can get around, if I can just be in the room with music, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's where I'm at. So I, I do, I do listen to my playlist is why I have a lot. I, my playlist is very diverse. Um, if deal, I were to yeah. give you five, if I were to hit shuffle on my Apple music and I just let the first five songs play, you look at me like I was crazy, but <laughs> hey. Same over here, same over here. Like, is anything in there from gospel to rock and roll to country to like right. jazz? And then you may have some bossa nova. Like, yeah, just anything that can just make my day go easier. Or just, you know, to elevate my music palette, as I would like to say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, with that being said, uh, we got a few more questions for you and we're going to wrap up this interview. Uh, since becoming a music artist and since, you know, uh, networking with 90s TV, how do you feel the Internet has impacted the music industry as a whole? Um, the Internet, to me, I believe that the Internet is now, especially in 2022, is now the music industry. Nice. Um, when you listen, when you listen to songs now, it's not so much about authenticity or not saying that these are bad songs, by right. the way, but it's not no, so much. It's not so much about authenticity, but more so about virality. Can this song go viral? Will this song end up on TikTok? Um, yeah. Not so much will it end up on the Billboard, but you know, can can I get this song on TikTok? You know, can I make it? Can can I can I become famous tomorrow? Right, right. You know that's 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 kind of where the music industry to me is going, um, yes. and, and that's that's a very scary place for music because yes, um, if everyone's oversaturating the music industry with that isn't genuine, you know where where is the where are the genuine where are the songs about like real real you know life experiences or. or because again, like hip hop and hip hop and, and even some R and B songs, these are these are stories being told. Yes. This is, these are things that are actually happening. So you know where where music is in a very scary place to me. Um, but at the same time, music always evolves. Yes. Um, and and so I don't um, I don't belittle um, the music that comes out now. I, I do listen to a lot of the newer stuff. I don't belittle any new music. Um, I just pay attention to where the music industry goes. Touche, touche, touche. Because I judge the music that comes out now. I judge it and I judge it horribly. (laughs) 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 So with that being said, if there was anything that you could change about the industry, what would it be? Uh, Oh, that's a good question. Um, hmm. I wouldn't, so, <laughs> I wouldn't so much change the, mu- I would get rid of award shows. What? I would get rid of award, I would get rid of award shows. What? Um, and the reason I say that is because the person that gets the award is not always the best person in the room and another thing about that is the person who got the award makes it look like they work 10 times or five times or 100 times harder than the people that didn't get the award it's more so like a a popularity contest or a a, 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 uh it's it's kind of like a popularity contest when it Mm -hmm. comes to like votes and even when it comes to streams just because a song is getting a million streams doesn't mean it's a good song. So like, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of like, like comedy songs that are getting more streams than, you know, songs with real topics, with real, you know what I'm saying? Doja Cat, I'm a cow. Doja Cat, uh, I'm a cow song has (laughs) a lot more streams than songs with real, and that's not me bashing, you know, Doja Cat, but I'm just saying, you know, she talking about she a cow and somebody she's talking <laughs> about real life problems not getting that many streams. So, you know, <laughs> the most played song ain't always the best song, you know. So that's that's why I would get rid of award shows. Touche, touche, touche. Cause I was waiting on you to mention something about voting because I was getting ready to give like my speech like the politicians do. You know, it's your vote that matters about who wins or not, you know, but so um, right. I think like with that being said, a lot of people really don't know how to vote for their favorite artists or, you know, just mm-hmm. like they just, you know, and it, it's real tricky with the music industry, you know, because you would think as just a regular listener, oh, the song's getting played on the radio and it's all you like it's being played several times over and over and over and over again. So maybe that counts as a vote or that will count as something to make them win the award. But a lot of people don't know that you legit have to vote for these artists to win. So mm-hmm. if they're not voting, mm-hmm. then of course they're not going to win. But I really do understand what you're saying and where you're coming from. I really feel all of that. So yeah, I I, I agree with you on that. I, I see where you're coming from that. So let's go to the chat real quick. 
We got uh, Nits by Ice award show. Do be snubbing folks too, but I'm going to sip my juice box. <clears throat> I'm gonna sip my drink too, girl. Cause you know what I'm saying. Like they really, they really do, and they they've been doing that since uh, Kanye and Taylor. The what was it? Taylor Swift and Beyonce. <laughs> mm-hmm. We all knew Beyonce <laughs> won. We all knew she won. So, with that being said, all right. So let's see. We got a few more questions for you. Um, and then we're going to wrap it up. I really hate that we got to wrap this up because this is this is the best interview that I've done so far in a long time because I haven't been on the air in a minute. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad I that y'all brought me out of hiatus. Yo, I appreciate it. So um, let's see. I appreciate you. Yo, man, this is this has been one of the best interviews by far. So let, let's get let's ask this question. Let's see, like, what is your favorite part about this line of work? Like, what's your favorite part and what's your least favorite part of being an artist? Um, my favorite part about being an artist is the work. Um, the work it takes to become successful. The work it t- like I'm. I'm. I may not, you know, I may not become famous tomorrow. This interview may make me famous tomorrow, and the 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 unpredictability, or the the fact that I can't measure how much work I have to do. So, like at the end of the day, the sky is the limit when it comes to the work that I have to do. It's exciting. It's it, it makes me want to go harder and harder every day, because until I make it, I ain't made it, and I have to make it because I said I was going to make it, and so. You know that that that's very exciting to mm. me. Um, the least, my least favorite part, I don't. It's not so much about music, but it's about uh, artists. Um, a lot of artists that are, a lot of people that want to be artists aren't built to be artists. So when you come to me and you say let's work, let's work, let's work, but you're not really, you're not really on man time about what you. You you saying one thing, but your actions not really lining up. That aggravates me because this is something that I want to do, and there's somebody else who probably wants to do this too, and you taking up a space, uh, of uh, you t- you taking up a space for real. Like if you not if this not something that you want to do, there are other things out there. You know, cause this this isn't a this isn't a you're not gonna get famous overnight. You're you know? not about to play not with my livelihood overnight. like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you you're not just about to come up in here and drop a song. You think you about to get a record deal, and it, it don't work like that. that so part. it's not so much the, it's not so much the music, uh, the music industry, but those who are in it that don't need to be in it. That's that's a real pet peeve for me. I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. And with that being said, YF T shirt. Like before we get to the last question, real quick, how did you get the name YF T shirt? Um. <laughs> So I went to um, I went to Bowie State University, um, and on Bowie State's campus there are a lot of T's. I could I there are too many T's on Bowie State's campus, <laughs> um, and so I ran into one. There was a it was a T that I used to be really cool with, and I was like, well, we both can't be T. My name actually begins with T, so I'm T. Okay. He's basically telling me he he's T first, so he's like, guess what? He was like, your tea like the shirt and I'm tea like the drink. So t shirt <laughs> stuck with me from, from that day forward. The YF <laughs> stands for your favorite. Oh, I and, like it. And if you ask anybody, I don't care who I was to you. I don't care who I am to you. I'm always going to be your favorite. You'll always talk about me. you always think about me. And that's not me. Bro. That's just, it just, it is. That's what it just is. that Libra. That's just that Libra trait. Mm-hmm. Big Yo, because I got you know, a couple are, of them that's doubling back right now. Okay. You know, I'm are, always going to be the number one. <laughs> you already know what it is. That part. So that, oh, right. So that's how that name, that's how that name came together. I like that. Your favorite t-shirt. Yo, I love that. I love that. So our last question, yo, I'm going to let one of our viewers ask this question. And I I just, I hope that you, well, I know you're going to succeed in answering what they want to know. This one right here is from Knits by Ice. The question for T is, 
what would you like to say to anyone who has ever doubted you? <laughs> uh, uh, I got one full word for you, and that's relax. <laughs> and take that shit to the uh, bank. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I know people, that's right. It's a lot of people that had a lot to say about me. Um, it's a lot of people that said that I wasn't going, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to be in this very position. It's a lot of people that I've worked with that just wasn't on man time and, and, and they did me greasy, you know, that for no part. reason. And all I really got to say to that is I'm on, I'm on Kansas City Radio doing an interview and you at home not doing nothing. So, I mean, what I'm going to let the, I'm going to let the resume speak for itself. You that know part, saying? that part. And this is just the first of many. You know what I'm saying? This you know is just saying? the first of many to come, yo. Yo, YF, yo, keep doing what you do. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep showing them how to move in a room full of vultures. Like, keep telling these hoes to relax. All right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> yo, let the people know where they can reach you, listen to your music, find out more about you, just drop all that information for them. We already got it at the bottom of the screen here for all the viewers. But being that you on the phone, we know our listeners want to know. Go ahead, drop all that information for me. Most definitely. So you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at YF double underscore T-E-E shirt. Um, you look me up on Apple Music, Spotify, all platforms. You can look me up at YF T-shirt. Um, I got a couple songs up there right now i got a project for y'all on the way um if you want to email me to do some work uh yft yftee shirt at gmail.com um it was it was it was lovely to be on hidden city radio Yo, with you i appreciate you for having me pleasure and i'm gonna definitely send i'm gonna definitely send that song to you with all the all the required information thank by you by the end of the day I by know, the end of the day right. i got you we definitely going to get that added to the station with no hesitation and no reservations. Because you know what? These hoes out here just need to relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, YF T-shirt. Yo, we ain't going to hold you no longer because we got five minutes to get out of here. Yo, please let the people know what station is the best station with no reservations. We rocking with in city radio hey, let them know to relax hey, let me get that in <laughs> yo. yes sir Yo, y'all heard it first right here on Hit a City Radio. It's your girl, Top Notch Butterscotch, and your boy, YF T-shirt. We signing out of here so we can get out of here. YF, it's been a pleasure, yo. Please send over that information so we can get that added to the station's rotation, yo. It's been a pleasure, yo. Be easy. Remember, keep it real rap raw so they can't call you flaw, my guy. Peace. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was YF T-shirt. Y'all make sure y'all go check him out at YF underscore underscore T-shirt on Instagram and on Twitter. The same at YF underscore underscore T-shirt, y'all. Go check out my boy and that song, Relax. Yo fucking relax oh all right so moving right along moving forward yo we get ready to get out of here yo it's been a great show next week y'all we're gonna be interviewed let me pull up the phone right here you know what i'm saying who we got next week we gonna have um y'all know i be messing up names but i'm i think i'm gonna get this one right premius xavier yo we're gonna be having we're gonna speak with premius xavier 4 p.m right here eastern standard time next saturday right here on hit a city radio he's also a part of 90s tv when i tell y'all they filled up my whole calendar they brought me back from the dead oh all right yo i appreciate it yo shout out to my girl nits by ice we gonna have you on the show too think i ain't gonna hit that inbox up and be like, so you out here promoting everybody but yourself? That's not how we work, yo. That's not how we work. So moving right along, moving forward, yo. We getting ready to get out of here. It's your girl, Top Notch Butterscotch. Um, yo, I'm going to just go ahead and get out of here with SWV Cosign. Because I'm going to co-sign on everything that YF T-shirt said. Y'all know how it go here at Hidden City Radio. Moving forward.
Like I told your boy, YF T-shirt, y'all remember to keep it real, rap raw, so they can't call you flaws. Your girl, top notch butterscotch. Uh, we out. Yeah.